passing towards it. Yep. Ooh. Oh! Good one. All right, fishing freaks, welcome on back to the channel. This week we are heading down to Mexico to start off the fishing year going bass fishing at a lake I've never been to, Lake Baccarat. Before we get going too far into the video, I just need to let you know about a flash sale at GooganSquad.com. All of our long sleeve performance gear on sale right now, 20 off plus use code LFG, you get an additional 10% off. I don't know how long the sale is going to last, so go to GooganSquad.com. Link in the description. After I left the Elk Woods a few years ago with the Born and Raised Boys, they started talking about putting together a Mexico trip, and I said, I'll be a huckleberry. So uh, we got the Hush Boys involved, and my boy, my Latin brother, Juan Carlos, aka Senior Bass, uh, to go put together a trip at a lake that I've never been to, that Juan's very familiar with. This lake is located in the Sinaloa Mountains, a beautiful place to be in Mexico, and it is known for having numbers of really good bass. Now, international travel into Mexico these days, not the easiest, especially when you're talking about going deep into the Sinaloa Mountains, but once we got to the lodge, I'm telling you, it is worth it. Greeted with a fresh frozen margarita and an amazing view. So without further ado, I present to you early spring bass fishing on Lake Baccarat. Bienvenidos a Mexico, señores. Dude. Late Baccarat 2022. Shh. Finally, I've been yeah. I've been inviting these guys since like 2018. We've been I talking think. about it. Yeah, we've sure. been we've been talking about it. We're finally here. Late Baccarat pre-spawning. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I just talked to the main dude. He say they're full of eggs, man. Oh, big. Big yeah. girls. We're looking forward to catching some big ones out here this week, but just the view alone is awesome. Um, this, I mean, this is crazy. This is the you nicest. Can, uh, this you is can the nicest. Eat from the floor. Yeah, the much. floors are insane. Look I thought they that. were wet. No, they're just clean. Yeah. They're just squeaky clean. You saw the bottom? I haven't seen the bottom. Let's check it out. I mean, this by the Pretty. Pretty stuff. Oh, look at this bottom, dude. Classy. Yeah. No. yeah. This is like nicer than my house. Dude, me too, me too. Nicer than the tree house. Yeah. Juan has been telling me about back rack for years and uh, we finally got a trip together. I hope that the, uh, the fishing lives up to the view, but if not, it's still awesome. We've got a full moon in the midst coming up while we're here, so the fishing should get better and better. Big girls moving to the bank, it's gonna be very exciting. Let's pop open the rod container and see if we have some rods that are still intact. That's always, uh, that can be an issue. So let's see what we got going on in here. Yeah, by the way, the leg, a little sore. Definitely a little sore. Oh, I think we're golden. Pull them on out. Look at that, put an extra t-shirt. My, my little trick for uh, no rod breakages, I always like to store a a shirt or a hoodie or something in there to kind of keep it tight. And then I tried something new this year. Went with paracord wraps on the, the mid and the top. And I even did a little wax bank line at the tips. Keep them really, really tight together. And we are good to go. No, no rods broken. We got the magic money bags. We got Oli. This is this is nothing compared to dude. I went hard. I'm not gonna lie 60 layers, pounds layers deep. This is um, let's see. One, two, three, four. I, 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 I think I've got another set in there. So it's over 50 bags of plastics Definitely yeah. gonna need this yeah, Some of those babies. Yeah. You don't got already got some yeah, and then I've got This is my Three tackle, tackle trays that I made. I've also got some of these for you, my friend. These are proto, protos. Oh. Can't show those too much, but. Miren esto. Are we showing this or no? Give those a dangle. Um, yes. Can't yes. really show those. Yes. That's okay. for you, though, Juan. I know you've been talking about that bait for like a year. 
Yeah. So that is inspired by Juan Carlos. Get some feedback on some new stuff. Mm. And then we got mm. we got the good oldies bringing that big stuff down to Mexico, of course, guys. Uh, the big darts, uh, original size trench hogs, lunker logs are going to play, of course, saucy swimmers, you know it. Come on in. I just wanted to see what you guys are doing. Explore. I wanted to see what you, holy hell. <laughs> if, you, if you need some oh stuff, Oh my bro. goodness. We got you. You came to the right place. You didn't get stopped by customs? <laughs> no. Dang. I'm, I'm packing, packing heat. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Yeah, so everybody can, you know, take a couple packs, whatever they need to do. I just can't believe these jerseys. You guys went completely. Yeah. That is hilarious. And my favorite part is how, like, professional they are. Get thick. They're legit. <laughs> that is outstanding. My boy John B is going to be very proud of that one right there. The white claw. <laughs> <Dubsy. clock. laughs> We don't, we don't want to see a sad friend at lunchtime, you know, mm. <laughs> just crying here, saying she got away. She got away. Mm -hmm. yeah, that always happens on the first day. Big one gets away. Hey, buddy. Cheers, Leo. First morning. Cheers. Yes. Let's get him. Get that coffee in the system, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm ready to dangle. Okay, friends, it is time to take off for the the first cast of this trip. I am fishing with Logan from Hello, the everybody. Hush Boys. Uh, we connected in the woods a few years ago, and um, he has actually never caught a bass over 0. 0.45. 0. 0.45. <laughs> so we're gonna have some fun today. Let's get it. some research on his onyx before we came up here and uh, we were just joking around like man we should go to this spot because it looks really <laughs> good like we both had the same idea and uh, we're really close to that spot right now so this uh, sunrise unbelievable about to kick off the first cast in Mexico Mario we're about to do it too Mario like Bud Pruitt baby yeah <laughs> all right trolling motors down let's get this party started Oh really? You got top water? Logan, yeah. you got a top water. I got a huh? top water. Look, uh, I'm not gonna fish top uh, water. Uh, on a little fluke or a big one? Big one. You know got a small one? I do, but I'm trying to go for a hog okay, jam. Now. I'll just try it. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, that was a good first one right there. Just gotta make sure that drag's not too tight. Got the old uh, dart on here. Got the big dart. Got one. On him. First one on. There we go, baby. Got a baby. <laughs> nice great first fish yeah third cast dude hooked up man 
looks good. Look at that That's fatty. A great fish, man. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. Bien. Tres libras? Sí. Mmm. I gotta sniff that first one, baby. <laughs> there we go. Chunky. One last jump, extra like button. Good way to start the trip. I'm looking for a big girl. Give me that big swirl. Nice bank right here with some little hiding spots, some isolated rock patches. This looks really good. I'm throwing this seven inch dart, which is the biggest one we make. The guide's telling me that they're like in small fluke style baits, but oh my gosh. Good one. In the gap, yeah, just busted my nuggets. Oh, came back. Something came back. Get in there, in that gap right there. Yeah. Can we move the trolling motor out a little bit. Yeah. Just keep away from the, the spot. Yeah. Oh, one just uh, busted there on the bank. Yeah, that's money. There we go, Logue. Hooked up, baby. That's <laughs> grande, <laughs> Mario. That's probably why I missed that one. <laughs> oh, oh geez. He was there, though. Hey, guess what? He was there. It's a PB for me. <laughs> it probably is. Look at him running, dude. If this fish is doing that to you on that rod, <laughs> I can't wait to see what a big one's going to do. I know, right? PB coming in the boat. With one. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Atta boy. Elbow Mom. bumps. Look at that. He's got it. Dude, he freaking Two -pounder. Do they really swallow it like that all the time? Yeah, they usually My do God. on those. They swallow them. First actual bass for myself. Congratulations, man. <laughs> Ooh. Get all my chesties out. This is right where I saw those boils. There You're hooked is. up. Yes, sir. <laughs> There's your next PB, baby. <laughs> that boy it load. so heavy on this real, <laughs> yeah, tiny little reel. And absolutely. That's badass. That's, Dude, I is. might say it beats the hell out of fly fishing. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> there there you go. Right in that spot. Yep. You're Same exactly spot, right. dude. There you go, bud. <laughs> Crushing them now. Justin, this is really fun. <laughs> I have a smile on my face. <laughs> it's good times. Look at him just bend that rod, man. <laughs> just working me, dude. Mario. Little chunks. <laughs> yeah, little like little bullets. Butter balls. <laughs> now, now you got like the technique and the feel. So, yeah. good to go. That's the biggest thing. These next couple of days should be really good because that's the before the full moon females will like feed up oh i see you know and then they just when they spawn they just lay eggs they don't they don't really eat so gotcha. it's pretty active before the full moon so with like trout if a female's on her bed it's almost like you if you get something on her bed with her she'll attack not to eat but just to get rid of that's it, it. Is it the same thing? yes exactly and the males are just way more aggressive with it so if, if something's coming in the area, even if it's not in their nest, they see it, they'll swim out of the bed and attack it. Exactly. Smallmouth are the most aggressive really? I've ever seen. Like you don't even have to get it close. That's why they have to have seat. Oh God. Yeah, little guy. Baby? Dude, it just stopped me. It got me on the, the move. Oh, you were retrieving it? I was retrieving it. It wasn't on the sink. Hell yeah. God, that's... Mexico is one of the few places where a little fish like that will 
make you think like <laughs> I've got a donkey. Like if you lose that fish, you think, oh, that was a giant. They just put a bend in your rod. He would know what that is? Yeah. Oh yeah. He could make the noise. Whoa. <laughs> nice. A little better. That a baby. Let it sink down there. That one I did. I got it. Nice, Charlie. I you know. <sighs> Boat flips to my boys. Oh, yeah. Boat flips, huh? Yep, just let it sink. Got heavy. All right, time for a new dart and a retie. There he is. There he is. Come on, be big. Feeling heavy? Nah, I don't know. This rod plays tricks on your mind. Oh, man. <laughs> Digging in. Dude. I like it. This might be bigger than the uh, two pounder. Uh, maybe not. A little oh, bigger, bod. Yeah. There you go. Biggest yeah, one of the day. Man. Yeah. Yes. That's a good there one. There you go. That's the biggest fish of the day, right? Forsky, yeah. yeah Handled it beautifully, man. That a boy. I felt like I knew what I was doing too because he nibbled and I loaded up. That's perfect. And then it thumped and wow. Played him just perfect. Oh, got a bite. He's got it. On him? Little guy. Dude, I had a nibble right when you were setting. It's like they communicated. Nice, dude. Just breaking the ice, you know. A little bit of ice breakage. Need some more film on this channel. Just don't want him to rip my worm. Stop doing that. <laughs> is that a special worm? Yeah, it is. There's only like four. Little guy. You know, a little buck. Sniffing. <laughs> Smells good. Young buck. Young buck. New area. Fishing the weightless mm -hmm. plastics is an excellent way to catch fish in early spring. And on Mexico lakes, plastics just work so well. But as the sun came out, they started getting off of that wacky rig and, you know, that weightless dart. Uh, and they started going more towards the bottom. Uh, less suspended and moving out to 12, 15, yeah. 20 foot. Little guy. So we started switching up to a variety of different Texas rigs it up. and just started catching them all over again. Needed that one, right? Needed that one, man. Grinding. Ah. Oh, he spit out a little shad. Look at that. Oh, yeah, he did. That is the first bass I've ever caught on the Sleezard. Very nice one. Having to go a little slow and steady here with the T rig. Get these babies to munch. Black and blue. Black and blue is good. Here. We're starting to get some answers here. Starting to get some clapbacks with the trench hog. Tasty one. <laughs> Run out on that right on that point again. Cerveza time. Another four ski. Nice, buddy. Yeah. Man. Love to see it. Mmm. Needed that one. Okay. Get, get a little uh 
get a little video of myself here and let this guy go. Oh, this is your camera. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dang, Logue. You had it covered, sorry. Yeah, All right, four pounder. Nice, trench hog. I had a really good bite on another point. And then uh, next point we came to, just got doink again and a uh, good solid fish right there. So I think the trench I'm gonna stick with. <gasps> Love ya, senorita. Oh yeah. Nice, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's about midday, so. Um, probably gonna go ahead and get a little snack and then come back for the afternoon dangle. I think that's gonna be extra tasty. Half time, half time report. I think we've got like four four pounders basically. We're in that cuatro, cuatro. Yeah, we're in the four zone right now, which, uh, you know, for Mexico, we could do better, but it's been fun watching Logan break his PB many times. lunch and some watermelonade. We got watermelon lemonade down here. Delicious. Anyways guys, uh, loaded up on some more trench hogs. What is it? I didn't do a whole Game lot of up. jig this morning. Yeah. Really? That disappoints me. Really? 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 I was thinking about you when I was throwing my jig. I was like, where did Prince throw his jig? He was throwing his jig hard. No, I didn't. Oh, I'd like to use these. What is that? Slim shake worm. If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. Little guy. Deep. He was deep. No. We'll wait till an upgrade. Beautiful fish though. My gosh. Beautiful golden color. Bright white belly. There's one. Got him? Same. Deep, deep bites. It's not grande. It sure did get that drag going. Yeah, it did. I need to tighten that up a bit. Just needed something to help me stand up. Give me. A... Where's my beer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got a bite too. We're doubled. Double. Woo! We're doubled. It's beer time. Mine's a little. A little heftier. Ooh. Nice job, Logue. First double of the day. Yeah, we needed that. We needed that. Oh, yeah, there we go. <sighs> Tasty treats. Yours could eat mine, but I'll take it. Bigger. Them. Good solid thump. That was perfect, dude. It was like right when I hooked up, you were like, oh, oh, oh. That's like a four pounder, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice. Meter. What did we say we were going to do on our double? Uh, I think it's a uh, shotgun of beer. Shotgun of beer. That's what <laughs> that's, it was. That's what it was. Thanks for reminding me. Let's let these guys go. Meter One, two. Double. Nice double Should backflips. We synchronized like dive team. Bonus like points Yoo! right there. Cheers to the Mexico dangle. Got it. <laughs> Hush and LFG. That was perfect, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. What the heck? Get in there, Logue. That wacky rig will kill it. Wacky rig? Do you have a wacky rig tied on? Wacky. Yes. Because they're suspended. This trench hog is just absolutely slaying down here and this Mexico bass, love it. 
But how I'm tight. rigging this up is on this Texas rig, but I'm tight. using a, a little bobber stop or a peg uh, with a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight. And I've got a 5 aught hammer hook on there, which is a perfect setup for this trench hog. And the 3 8 ounce weight allows it to fall on a at a decent rate. Not too fast, though. I think these fish are... Uh, starting to slow down here with this full moon coming, but the three eighths is perfect to get the appendages moving and not fall too fast for these fish. Twenty pound fluoro, and I just keep my drag kind of backed up a little oh, bit. Oh, going. Not too tight. Oh yeah, he's a running. You never know when the mondo is going to bite oh, Mexico. Big, big grande. Oh, that's good size. I got a Mario. Tossing down there, Rocky. Texas rig, man. Hook doubled. doubled up again. Doubled got up. it. You got some juice. Watch that trolling motor. Like I said, yeah. dude, this might be, be a little bigger, bud. Could be bigger. Good one. Woo -hoo -hoo. There you go. Let's see what we got here, Logue. Tail slapper, dude. Here we go. Here we go. PB action. <laughs> oh yeah. He ain't bad. He ain't oh, bad. that's a good one. He ain't bad. He ain't Fiber, bad. Fiver, baby. Woohoo! Yeah. That's my guy. That's a chunk. Doubled up. Are we doing another beer? <laughs> you might as well, dude. That's that's big. He's not bad. I'm going to have to weigh that one because it's dude. very chunky. Let this little smeasly one go here. Rack, will you just look at that for me real quick? Dude, look I'm... at that hook. Look, look at the hook. Barely. Dude. Yeah, again. No, no. Four and a half, five. Yeah, five. Take five. I'm gonna say. Four seventy. Four seven. I'll take that. He Zero. looks so big to me. Like if if that scale told me eight pounds, I'd be like, hell yeah. Yeah. Four, four eighty eight. eight. Four eight six. I'll take it. It's a PB. Congrats, bro. That's Give it a little beat. water and we'll get a pick. Okay. Fishing shade's nice. Very nice. Let me know when you need a lipper. I'm there. I'm there right now. <laughs> yeah, you are. Right under the boat. <clears throat> That's how we're doing it right now. <laughs> dude, just chunk. Dang, dude, healthy fish. That's uh, so healthy. This is why you come in January. Because this fish in six months will be much smaller. Yeah. Moist, moist. Yeah, buddy. It's my beer fish. But game your swear day. See ya. Look at him. He's got a fish. No. Get the shot, Logue. Grande? No. Whoa. Supercharged. <laughs> Turbo mode. <laughs> yes. Got a turbocharger in there. Man, he was just swimming right at me. Engaged. I tongued him. That's why. He's extra angry. It's a good fish when they make a kerplunk. Yeah, going through a pack here. This is good stuff. Going through an entire pack of trinkets. I'm starting to notice that when I'm just dragging my bait really slow, I'm starting to get more bites. And it appears that there's male 
largemouth bass that are starting to make beds. I see the full moon is coming, and I'm just wondering when when am I going to get a big, big female, like, you know, seven, eight, nine pounder, because these females are bound to come in with this full moon and set up on these beds with these bass. But the way the Mexico banks are in a lot of these mountain lakes, it's so steep, and they won't go into shallow spawning coves. They'll spawn right on steep banks. The water drops so much in these mountain lakes that they have to have deep enough water, at least 10 foot, to spawn. So you almost nope. never see a bass on a bed in Mexico. Slide that thing out about 20 foot. And there she is. Keep wondering when one of these deep ones is gonna be big. Blind in one eye. Just solid chunks for the average fish. Two and a half. Those are nice. Very good rocks. Yeah. Good for crankbait, huh? Yeah. Crankbait on a point. It's one of the best feeling points. I think we need to be like much farther out and casting towards it. Yep. Ooh, Whoa! good one. Bueno. What a jump. Oh! Mm-hmm. An evening tug, man. Look at this tasty fish right here. Come here. One last jump for the folks. Not gonna do it? All right. We'll take you. I'm just, I am stuck on three and a half, four pounders today, <laughs> which I can't complain. This, this rock on this point felt amazing. I'm just dragging that trenchy down there and doom. About 15 feet of water. Love you so much, backflips. Oh, nice work, dude. Wah-bam. And just flies it down like fast. And it freaking hits the boat seat and uh, goes right in the lake. And then the propellers like kept it going down. I got a fish. Good one. Solid. Mm, possible. Bueno. Cinco Libres, possibly. Yeah, very strong. Fuerte. Yeah, muy fuerte. Muy fuerte. Swam it right in there. Look at the fatness. Oh. Logue, I think I'm stuck on four. That one's pushing five. Oh, that's a good looking one. That one's about like the one you caught. What do you think? You think it's five? I might be. Let's give it a let's give it a check. Yeah. I think it's four eight, like yours. Four. Four. Mario says four. Mario's not a believer. <laughs> He's not about that five pound. Uh, not even. Four forty. I'll still give you a sniff. I love you so much. See you. Okay. I'll catch those all day. That's first. I'm not mad at that. Was that second cast? Second cast. Lucky Lipper and a Texas rig. Can't be beaten. Everyone's coming in. Uh, had a pretty good first day. Could not crack that four pound mark, but I think I caught almost 30. It was like 27 bass today. So 
Uh, Texas rig was the jam. Throwing the trench hog, I'm glad I got a ton of those. Lunker logs been been good as well. Uh, but just looking back on my previous years in Mexico, throwing like a, a swim bait or a jig or big crank bait. Um, one of those things like off the big points, I think is how I'm gonna get my big bite. But the water's 70 degrees. The, uh, the full moon is on its way and I think these fish are gonna be coming in, the big ones. So I will see you guys on the next episode. All my buddies that I've been fishing with down here, Born and Rays, Hushin, and uh, my boy Juan Carlos. All those guys are linked down below. They're all filming here. So you can go check their channels out and uh, make sure to smash that like button. We're starting the year off right bass fishing down here below the border. And I'll see you guys very soon on the next episode.